let's do this as a class. So what section of the cash flow statement? Operating, investing, or financing? So long-term investments for cash. Why is it not financing? Uh, and the reason is because we're selling long-term investments. And so I'd always ask myself here, is a long-term investment an asset, a liability, or equity? It's an asset, right? And so we go back here, any asset, is it long-term or short-term? We said it was long-term. Any long-term sale is going to be part of our investing activities. So it's part of our, any long-term assets part of our investing activities, the purchase or sale. So just because we have a cash inflow from our investing activities doesn't mean it's financing. Financing, we're always talking about long-term liabilities and long-term equity. So always ask yourself first before you go into the detail in the transaction, are we talking about assets, liabilities, or equity? And are we talking about short-term or long-term? If it's short-term, current assets or current liabilities, it's operating. If it's long-term assets, it's investing, generally investing. And if it's long-term liabilities or equity, it's financing. Let's keep going. Receive cash payments from customers. So is that operating? Yep, operating. Why is it operating? Cash payments is short-term cash. It seems like that's operating. We're receiving cash for our operations. We paid cash wages for wages and salaries. Operating. Perfect. We purchased inventory for cash, right? It's operating. This gets a little more complex, but it's operating because it's a short-term asset right? Short-term asset. Now paid cash dividends. Okay. And then why is this not investing? Good, Poonam. Why is this not investing? This is part of equity, right? So equity makes it part of financing. I know it's confusing, um, but the cash, we're ca paying cash as part of our financing. The, the paid cash is not related to operating activities. The paid cash is going to be a reduction to our financing activities or in a cash outflow from financing. We'll go over the, cal the calculations in detail. So issued common stock for cash. So is common stock a long-term liability or a long-term asset or a long-term, uh, or is it equity? It's equity. And because it's equity, it's going to be a financing activity. So that's where we can get confused. I, I, I used to get confused about this myself. It's confusing because cash is an asset, right? And so it's easy to say, well, cash is an asset. So that seems like operating, but we're always only talking about cash cash payments and cash receipts at the end of the day in the statement of cash flows. So we care about the others. Why did we lose cash or why did we receive cash? In this case, we paid cash or we received cash in exchange for common stock. And so that would make it a financing activity. The common stock is the real piece there and that's equity. Receive cash interest on a notes receivable. The reason this is operating is because int the interest is operating. Uh, interest is short term. And so that's the tricky piece. Interest revenue is always short term. There's actually some complex accounting guidance out there where you can choose one way or the other. But for this class, just we know it is operating. Anything short term, any short term transactions, we're going to keep this operating other than equity. We'll go through these last ones. Receive cash from sale of land at a loss. And is a long term or short term asset? Is it an asset, liability, or equity? Asset, is that long-term or short-term? Perfect. It's investing because it's a long-term asset. So. And then we'll do the last one, paid cash for property taxes related to a building. This is working confusing, right? But the property taxes are due every year or less than a year. So that's what makes it an operating activity, which because those, those liabilities are short-term. The, the trick here, sorry, good question, Puno. It's interest. Yeah, paid cash interest on the outstanding notes payable. The interest is due, we assume the interest is due less than a year. So the interest is operating, paying for the outstanding notes payable is going to be financing. And so we always have to ask ourselves, what's occurring in this transaction? Are we paying, are we paying for the notes payable itself? Are we receiving or paying for interest? And this gives us a very strong understanding of the business, right? It's, it's useful to know how much interest we're paying versus how much we're paying for the note itself. Going through these, I, I need you to memorize all of these, right? And I, you can get any question like this and I could ask you if it's investing, operating, financing, or non-cash.